How's it going everyone? The Salamander Man here back with another video and in this video I'm going to be doing something a little different and that is showing you how to culture springtails. So let's get into this. Now in this container right here this is where I have my first culture and this container is where I'm going to start the new culture. So it doesn't take much to get these guys going but first what is the point of doing this? Springtails are a necessary food source, I would say, for juvenile or newly morphed newts and salamanders. Salamanders that are so tiny that they require food that is just as small. And I'm talking about species such as perhaps a redback salamander that has just hatched, barely just an inch long, or even the red eft stage of the eastern newt once it emerges from the water. So this is a really good source of food for those types of newts and salamanders. Let's start by running through a list of things that we will need to start this culture. You're going to need a container, which I have right here. You will need a starter culture, which I will be using the one that I already have. And you will need substrate. And in this case, I will be using a mix of the creature soil from Zoomed, and I will be using some of the substrate in here with my other culture, which is comprised of mostly coconut fiber. Coconut fiber is a pretty common choice to use, but some other things can be used as well. So what we'll do is just start by adding some of the substrate to the container. It's probably just a little too much, but that's okay. Just sort that out in a moment. Of course, whichever substrate that you do have, you just want to make sure that it has absolutely no chemicals in it whatsoever, fertilizers or anything like that, because this will be harmful to your springtails. So we're gonna go over here, just sprinkle some of these guys in here. Now that I've added a bunch of springtails to the new container, I'm just going to lightly mist the enclosure with a little bit of water to help build up humidity as humidity is necessary for springtails. And so just some things to note real quick. I keep my springtails at around room temperature, so between mid 60s to 70s works really well for me. And whichever container you use, make sure it has a tight fitting lid with no air holes because this will prevent any pests from getting in and, of course, prevent your springtails from getting out. And this will also keep humidity within your enclosure. We'll also want to make sure that we ventilate the enclosure from time to time. So opening up the lid about every two or even three days should suffice and provide fresh air and oxygen for the springtails because otherwise we will be depriving them of oxygen and this will no doubt slow down your culture and eventually become harmful to the springtails. And last but not least, your springtails will need a food source and this is very easy. You can simply use white rice like I am using here, just be sure not to overfeed as any leftover uneaten food will start to grow fungus from the humidity, but that is all there is to it. Springtails are a great food source to use for small terrestrial newts and salamanders and they're very easy to culture. So if you all enjoyed the video, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, I could probably start up a dwarf white isopod culture because these are also really great for small newts and salamanders. And until next time, everyone, please remember to leave a like, share the video, and subscribe. Your support is very much appreciated. I am the Salamander Man.